And we are continuing with all of the delicious stuff that I made back in December. And last week I made the cinnamon rolls. And uh, today I'm going to make a bread with pumpkin. And I actually made these two things the same day. So what you saw last week was made on the same day as the bread. So that is why some of the utensils are dirty. So this is the rest of the pumpkin puree that I also used in the last video. And uh, I have the, the recipe down in the description, so I won't go into further details during the video. And now the dough has risen to at least double the size. And as I also said in the last video, this depends on how warm it is in your house, whether it will take 30 minutes or several hours. So I'm just dumping it out onto my table and I will um, knead it a little and then I will flatten it and roll it up so it uh, makes some tension on the dough surface and that will help it rise and help it to be more even in the end. Right now it doesn't take up that much space in the baking tin, but uh, after the rice it will be really big and fluffy. So I just put a tea towel that I have moistened on top so that it can rise underneath that. And now you can see just how big it has gotten. And in the oven it will get even bigger. So right now I have to be really careful to not puncture it or so that it will fall down. So when I'm putting on the egg wash I will be really careful. It maybe looks um, that as if I was hard on it, but it's just because the video was sped up to uh, double. And I am putting on some poppy seeds because I really like the color of the dark seeds and the yellowish bread. Um, it makes a really nice contrast. And I will also make a cut on the top of the bread uh, for it to better rise. And I only have this knife, I don't have a, a real bread knife or whatever it's called. But this one works fine because it's rounded and um, the dough doesn't stick to it because I I'm not poking it down into the dough, it's just the rounded side that I'm using. And now the bread will go into the oven and bake until it's finished. And by looking at the color of the bread, I will say that it's finished now. But it sometimes can be hard to know because it's a really big bread and it's in the tin. So I'm going to take it out of that so that I can feel the bottom and I can uh, hear if it sounds hollow. And uh, I have the, my baking paper on the bottom and that makes it really easy to take out the bread. Now I'm just tapping the sides and the bottom of it and I, I can hear that it sounds hollow. And uh, it also looks really nice and baked. Uh, on the other side. So this one is done now and then I will just let it cool on the cooling rack.
and now we are going to cut into the bread now that it has cooled all the way and we will taste it with some of the cultured butter that I made a few videos back and some of my homemade strawberry jam and apple jelly and you can also find those videos um, up in the corner or you can go back and, and watch I made them in the fall I think so the bread really looks nice and baked through and it has a nice orange color both because of the pumpkin puree and because of the nice yellow egg yolks And the butter is a little hard right now and the bread is really soft so I had to put on a lot of dollops and then just let it sit for a few minutes and then it's easier to um, put on the butters without um, destroying all of the bread. <laughs> so this is the apple pear jelly and it's a little more runny than the, the other apple jelly. So the other apple jelly is um, made out of red apples and that is why it has this nice color and it's really gelatinous because there was a lot of pectin in those apples and as I mentioned I will have the strawberry jam this was just so tasty the really soft bread and the homemade butter and all of the jams and jellies so I hope that you felt inspired and want to try some of it yourself and thank you a lot for watching and I hope that you want to subscribe to my channel and go and follow us at Instagram at bestest farm life bye bye